like always, I know I'm super late on this, but I've heard some of these fights and some of these matches are actually amazing. So I'm just way too excited to hop into this. What's up, Depper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 5. I think this is Episode 6. This one's called Foresight. Last episode, we had what seemed to be... It was like I loved uh, the seesaw, and like it went their side for a little bit with Kuroiro just popping off, Vanta Black, Vanta Dark, whatever they called him, just taking out Yama. But then <laughs> we had Dark Shadow, Tokoyami showing off their new improv moves dark fallen angel whatever in the flying was super amazing and then we had some more plans it looks like kendo's thought of a couple of contingency plans so we're gonna find out what's going on with the mushroom fungus girl all the other quirks and i just can't wait to see some of these matches i can't lie remember if you guys want early access to the other shows and full length to this show and the other shows like black clover high q jujutsu kaisen many many more to come in the future links are in the description as well we have four episodes ahead on the other shows for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment it really does help me with that youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post on the dapper channel and then follow me on all the social medias obviously instagram twitch and and Twitter at Dapper Darius. We do have a PO box if you guys ever want to send me anything, art, mail, anything like that. Any and everything is much, much appreciated. Everything is in the description for you guys, like usual. Let's hop right on into this. My Hero Academia, season five, episode six, I believe. Foresight. Let's do it. I love the CG in this show. Like this whole CG environment with the characters cutting in and out of it looks so good. Let's see if you see the lights yep plan a so they have the plan b i love contingency plans so she just grows mushrooms on everything what is her quirk i gotta get her name too when we get it come on she's saying the scientific names of all these fungi like i'm gonna be able to remember that come on Lemulina, <laughs> come on, these are so hard. Why do they have to make Latin scientific names so hard? You can release spores from her body and grow any in an instant. Inst the more humidity. Oh, okay, that's why she's got it. That's crazy. Oh my god. I know you can grow mushrooms anywhere. Oh, and one of them's Kuroiro. All right, plan B. Mm, the little rivalry, Momo and Kendo. Not bad, Kendo. Comic. Comic man. He can make the sound effects and auto and onomatopoeias in comics materialize. Depending on the sound, he can also add various. What is it made out of? Fucking vibranium? Adamantium? Damp, damp, whoosh, whoosh. He can physically make damp. Like it's because he's making humidity off the damp thing, but that's so crazy. Think, yep. Observe. Analyze. Separated the brain. Okay, I get it. Ooh, good shield. Tungsten, wow. Battle Fist, I like that name. Ooh, the multi shield. I love Kendo so much so outgoing confident smart yet humble too yep she's taking back previous experience she's so smart come on man it's one thing i love about her and Todoroki with the yep that's a throwback I, I loved when the teachers were going against the students and I loved that little 
call out to. Momo is quick thinking. She is great when it comes to plans, especially during the uh, hero licensing thing too, when she was separated with Sue, everyone. She was so quick thinking. She's always quick thinking. Okay, Todoroki, way to have faith in your girl. I ship them, definitely. I'm not a big shipper either. Gotta stay humble. True. True. I respect it. Ooh. She said, fuck out of here. I'm about to blast your ass away. Oh, so she was stalling for as long as she could. So she was able to create that. Boom. I like it. I like it. I love how Tokuyama can just fly. Oh, there he goes. Tokuyama. <laughs> okay. Saying his hero name actually makes me laugh. I'm sorry. Bounce. And so stuff will bounce off that. And he can hit him with a rebound angle. Yeesh, man. The wide area spread attacks are really annoying. Double jumbo. A package sent over. Yeah, go get that. Got it. <laughs> Momo's lucky bag. Oh my god. And you got the scariest picture of uh, <laughs> thermal goggles. She made that? Oh, dang, Momo, okay. Ethanol? Is that what that said? Shouts out Momo, always coming in clutch. I wouldn't be surprised knowing her, man. Genuinely. Ah. She is straight naked. You are not seeing her come at all. <laughs> Speed beats strength. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love when he covers himself in Dark Shadow. It's Black Abyss Sabbath. He's like a Pokemon. You could literally capture him in a veil of darkness. Momo is definitely the clutch pivotal joint of this team, but <laughs> Tokoyami is fucking amazing. What can she make mushrooms grow on the in the inside of your throat? She can make a mushroom grow on your wit. Oh my god. That's that's actually so dark. That's so dark. I don't I don't mean to pause it. I'm just saying imagine the possibilities of that when it comes to the moisture and how fast they grow. She could literally, yeah, like she said, go for your lungs every time. And just fill them with whatever the type of mushroom she. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. Imagine, you know how when Kirishima first got his power, he cut himself in the eye and cried. Like, imagine her for like that. Man, some of these quirks, bro. I, 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 they really will surprise me in the creative ways in which they think of using their powers. Very similar to bending in Avatar. Like I, you know, I was my mind was opened to some of the possibilities. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh my god. Invincible girl. Oh, Kendo got her. That's what she did. She tied herself to the cannon with the... Oh my god. As like a weight down to weigh herself. Jesus. Kendo was amazingly badass. Momo was amazingly badass. Yeah, I know. I'm like, damn. 
I mean, Class B definitely deserves to win this, but like I said, this was amazing on both sides. Yeah, definitely showed them. Yep, even though they may have lost, you never fail. You either win or you learn. That's what I like to say, you know? Hell yeah. The next generation of heroes. I'm so ready. Oh yeah, I have full faith that the next generation of heroes, these guys when they grew up, incredible, immaculate people. Goes to class B. I mean, shout out them, that was deserved, but damn, that was a good match, bro. I can see why people... I can see why people are excited for these. I'm just, come on. Damn, man, that was over so quick, I swear to God. Well, damn, I am not gonna lie. I was expecting a lot of these matches to be close, but still the majority of them to go in class A's favor. But I do, I'm not gonna be surprised if B sneaks off wins like this. Because like I said, I love the roller coaster of emotions in this. It literally was like a seesaw. Like they had the strong lead off beginning with Kuroi Ro, then Dark Shadow took it into our advantage, and then they came back, and then we came back with Momo in the clutch goggles, and then they came back with Komori in the mushrooms. And like, like they all of them were really shining. Comic Man, insane. Komori, surprisingly scary. I I've never, I don't like eating mushrooms. I see mushrooms all the time living in Washington. There's vegetation and fungi everywhere around here. But damn, that's low key scary. Uh, Comic Man, dope. Komori, scary. Kuroiro, dope. Also cool. Um, Kendo, so badass. Love the intuition, smarts, observations, humbleness, drive, ambition. Come on, man. She just, oh, I love her so much. Kendo so, and her combat skills. Kendo could big fist. Okay, I'm not going to finish that sentence. You know what I was going to, oh, no, we're not going to go there. But even on class A's team, Tokoyami, amazing with his new power. Um, can't stop twinkling. Ayama did what he could. He, he did what he could. <laughs> Hagakure, naked beat down on Comic Man. You love to see it. You love to see it. She might have been, she, she should have been a little quieter. She was like, screaming while she was surprise attacking kind of like Sokka from Avatar but hey you know sometimes you got to scream while you surprise attack um and then Momo obviously which I do love the constant flashbacks we've gotten of Momo she's gone through it when it comes to quick decision making like against that match with Tokoyami in the festival she's improved since then and then when it comes to her confidence in her own decision making and leadership she's drastically drastically improved since then since that whole teacher match with uh Todoroki and all that like Midnight's even saying she could be a leader she's looking real she's oh I'm just saying in terms of being win in terms of winning and losing I was impressed in terms of the strategy I was impressed in terms of the quirks and the fights I was impressed the muse like all around even though uh, I'm just saying this is, this is some top tier shit you know what I'm saying Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like for your boy. I appreciate y'all. Subscribe if you guys aren't. I'll see you guys in this next episode. Love you guys. Peace out. Have a great day.